Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a bullet journal plan with me for the month of November 2020. This month I decided to do something different by straying away from my usually minimalist theme completely. I've added different quotes which I found on a bunch of cute bookmarks. There's colours, there's washi tape, as well as a lot of cardboard and brown paper. So to begin with, I'm doing the lettering for my cover page, which will then be surrounded by this really cute cardboard design that I got in the case of a notebook. So this is the cover that I'm going to be using, um, since I have never used extra material before I wasn't entirely sure how to stick it in, so I ended up using both glue and washi tape, and we'll have to see how it works out. So I just quickly measured out the washi tape for the size that I wanted to add a bit more colour to this page. So now onto the rest of my monthly spread. I added a section for events depending on the date, a winter bucket list to write down what I want to do this winter, as well as my usual to-do list and three monthly goals I hope to accomplish. So this is the next piece of design I, d I decided to add to this month's layout. So just taking a piece of brown paper that I got from a cardboard bag, tearing it off to make sure it fits before I glue it in place. I also add the first of numerous bookmarks that I have throughout the spread, each of which have a really cute quote on it, and then I secure them both with the same washi tape as the previous page. This is how the monthly cover looks. Now on to the first of my four weekly spreads for the month of November. I decided to completely change my usual weekly layout since I've already changed the cover page. So this month I have included the usual monthly date overview as well as a habit tracker but I've also included two different sections for what I read and what I watched that week, as well as not including any days of the week. I decided to use this monthly layout as a sort of diary or journal spread for the night and what I want to do each day, rather than having predefined layouts. So sticking with my blue theme for this week, I went back in with a zebra mod liner just to add some highlights and a bit more decoration to the page. I also highlighted the days of the week in the monthly layout as well as adding more washi tape and then going back with the mod liner to highlight every second line such as I did with the cover page. Now 
on to week two. Each of my weeks has a different color and a different bookmark and drawings involved, but they each contain the same four elements as the first week. Sometimes when I placed on the bookmarks I found that excess glue came out the side, so in order to fix this I use what's called an engraving tool which you can get with many basic art scratching designs. And now on to the final weekly spread for this month's layout. you guys enjoyed this week's video please like subscribe and comment down below if you have any final ideas here's a quick overview of how each spread looks and if you have anything you wish me to do for next month's theme please let me know below